Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with Net Framework 3.5 installation errors, specifically error code 0x800F0950. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. Straightforward, and we're going to jump right into it. There's going to be two commands in the description of the video. And we're going to start, open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have two commands in the description of the video. Copy the first one and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit and then select paste to paste it in. Give it a moment here. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and copy the next command that I'm going to have in the description of the video. So there's going to be a couple, like I said. And then, like I said, just go ahead and copy that. And then you're going to paste it in. Okay, so once that's done, close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully I was able to solve your problem. And then if you go and try and reinitiate the installation, it should hopefully proceed without any problems. So if that was unable to work, one other thing we can try would be to open up the start menu. 
Type in CMD, best result should say command prompt, right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. So again, SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer again. And hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.